Connecting you to the people that shape the communities and neighborhoods of Kansas City. This is Time Water Cable Newsmakers. Hello and welcome to Newsmakers. I'm your host, Nancy Lewis, and we're here today in the Truman Library in Independence, Missouri. We're with Courtney Thomas with Heartland SPCA. So for people who don't know, tell us what Heartland SPCA does. Well, very exciting news. Uh, in 2011, Heartland SPCA was formed through the merger of Animal Haven mm -hmm. and No More Homeless Pets, KC. So this allows us to be our community's most comprehensive resource for pets and their human companions. We offer adoption services, volunteer opportunities, affordable spay-neuter services, and wellness, veterinary wellness care, a community outreach program, feral cat programs, just a full gamut of, the of whole, ways. If it, if it has to do with pets, you guys are That's there. That's right. <laughs> That's right. We're the one-stop shop. So, so obviously people are so interested in adopting pets and you guys, I, I, I look at your website, it's just, I already have a cat, I can't get another one, but oh, I just want to because they're so cute. And I hope people will do that too. But in, in addition to adopting pets, um, there are other things that people could do to support you guys. So talk about um, Be a Hero in 2012. Absolutely. So our challenge to the community in 2012 is for everybody to be a hero for pets. And there's a way for everyone to get involved. Mm -hmm. We are expanding our medical center as we speak. Right. Uh, we are looking to expand our adoption center. So we, we need our community support to help make that happen. So you can be a hero by being a donor. You can be a hero by adopting a pet. If you can't adopt a pet, you can be a hero by being a foster parent, uh, coming to volunteer at our shelter to provide enrichment or at our medical center to help with recovery for surgical patients. There's just a way for everybody to be involved. But to further the support that we're providing our community, we are launching a new program in 2012 and offering public behavior training classes for uh, uh, pet owners in our community as Tell well as for that. shelter pets. So, so what, what would that look like if I were to be a part of that? Skip Dacre was just recently hired as our mm -hmm. Director uh, of Behavior and Training okay. and he is working hand on hand with our staff members to help them enrich the experience of animals while they're in our facility as well as working with adopters or the general public who has a pet um, who has a behavioral challenge or just wants general obedience training. Right. What we know is that the majority of, of animals that are relinquished to shelters are relinquished because there is some challenge or breakdown between that human-animal bond. And so our goal in all that we do is to keep pets and people together. And we want the community to, to stand behind us and support us in that initiative of, of being a hero and being a partner. You're doing all these new things. You're expanding, you're growing, and, and, you're, and you're literally expanding. I know that you have... Um, this new state-of-the-art medical facility. Tell me about that. Absolutely. So we just expanded the medical center. Previously, we, we provided uh, 4,925 public appointments for general wellness care in 2011 with one exam room and one doctor. Wow. <laughs> that was one busy doctor. Absolutely. So we now have uh, three exam rooms, digital x-ray capabilities, canine and feline hospitalization, and we still are offering our traditional high-volume, low-cost, spay-neuter services, and we really encourage the public to come out and take a look at our facilities. Sometimes I think there's a misunderstanding between low cost and low quality, mm -hmm. and what you will see at our facility is everything that we do is high quality um, and certainly in the best interest of the pets. So if somebody's interested in all of this, if they want to support your cause mm -hmm. or if they want to adopt one of the, how many pets do you have there? Last year we took in 4,000 animals into our shelter, but collectively throughout all of our programs, our wellness clinics, spay, neuter, and sheltering, we helped almost 18,000 animals in the wow. Kansas City community. So, so if they want to be a part of that, how do they do it? Visit our website, it's heartlandspca.org, or give us a call at 913-831-7722, or drop by for a visit. We love for folks to, to come in and, and see firsthand the wonderful work that, that's taking place every day. Thanks. Thanks for doing that wonderful work. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for being here, and uh, thank you for being here. We hope to see you next time on Newsmakers.